I believe that martial arts is a way of life and it teaches you skills that you can incorporate into your daily life that make you overall a better person. A lot of people don't think that Muslim women are into sports like that or women in general are into fighting. The fact that I'm a woman from an ethnically diverse background who doesn't look like what you would think when you think a self-defense instructor is coming in. This breaks the stereotype that they've had in their mind. And so I think as a female Muslim, I really open up the doors for a lot of women. My name is Rahana Dawood. I'm a certified black belt in Shotokan Karate, as well as ITF Taekwondo. And I'm the founder of Martial Smarts. We provide self-defense workshops for women across the GTA to improve physical and mental wellness, self-esteem building, as well as female empowerment. I think the beauty of Martial Smarts is the fact that all of the workshops that we hold are, are completely free. Our ultimate goal is to empower the women around us to empower others. Growing up in Scarborough, my family didn't have a lot of money to put me into a dojo. Being surrounded by positive people, by teachers that were helping us who didn't have a lot of money, I think that showed me what great things you can actually do with this skill. What I really wanted to do with Martial Smarts is provide free workshops for people so that they could learn the skill and benefit from it in a way that I was able to. My faith has a huge role in my life. It inspires me on a daily basis to just be a better person. The principles that Islam teaches, martial arts also teaches. I think martial smarts is helping Muslim women feel safe again. Since the Paris attacks, we've had quite a number of requests from around the GTA asking for self-defense workshops for Muslim women. To equip them with what they need to know to try to protect themselves if they do end up being attacked. Muslim women have been the unintended victim of those Paris attacks. In Flemington Park, which is a neighborhood in, in the GTA, a woman was attacked on her way to school to go pick up her kids. She was kicked in the stomach and they were yelling racial slurs at her while they were doing all of this. And I think that's what kind of fueled a lot of people to request workshops. I think in Canada we pride ourselves on this multicultural, tolerant society. But I think as a community we can do a lot better as an in interfaith dialogue. Ignorance is definitely a part of the problem because of the fact that people haven't taken the time to learn about things that are different from them. The fact that Muslim women are doing something for their community in a way that's unorthodox will open the eyes of a lot of people. And I think that it's organizations like Marshall Smarts that will really show people the true Islam.